Hey, and welcome to this video about making toggle switches in Bubble. Bubble right out of the box does not really have a toggle switch option, but there are some great plugins and different ways around it, so you don't have to use radio buttons when you're designing stuff. And especially for mobile apps, right? Mobile apps, the toggle switch is the UI uh, with user interface element of preference. So what we're gonna do here in this video, we're gonna get started by creating a page and we're just gonna call it um, toggle demo page and we're not gonna clone it from anything. We're just gonna get it going here. And I'm gonna go ahead and make that 320 just to kind of start out with a uh, mobile you, toggle switches really, yeah, they're definitely on, uh, on apps everywhere, web apps on websites, but really, really popular on mobile apps, so we're gonna just worry about that for this video. We're gonna grab a text element here, and then we're gonna say, um, engage awesomeness, because who doesn't want a toggle switch where you can do that? Um, and we'll just uh, you know bump up the size a little bit. Four. Looks good. Okay, so actually that's a little too big because we need some room for our toggle switch. And what we're gonna do um, is we're gonna install a plugin and there will be, to future-proof this, because not all plugins stay around forever. Uh, there's a paid one and then there's a uh, free one. We're gonna work with this free one and when you're viewing this video, if this one is not available, this free one, uh, don't worry because there will be an icon-based uh, toggle video that will be linked to in the description that you can check out. So uh, you'll always have a way to get some kind of toggle thing going for you. So here we go. Uh, let's drop into the bubble editor. Over here under input forms, you will see better toggle, this new plugin. And shout out uh, quickly to our folks, whoever made this. Check out the plugin page here. Brown Fox Dev. Brown Fox jumped over the spotted dog, or I don't know, something they use for fonts. Um, okay, let's go ahead and preview this. So what we can see here is this is the toggle right out of the box. What you're gonna learn in this video is uh, a little bit about this toggle element. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna come and make the padding and the height uh, have some values. Uh, I'm going with four because then, hey, check that out. That looks a lot like a toggle thing, right? And then let's go next for roundness. Let's go all the way up to 20. You can kind of experiment around with how you want to do this. Uh, that 20 is not like just the value to use. It's a, it's a pro pro proportion uh, based upon like the size of your toggle switch. So here, our toggle switch is like 60, 50. Let's go there. And then if this page is 320, we want to hit this at, uh, what, two, two six? 260? Is that right? No. 240. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and shrink that a little bit. Good spacing and good design is important in the world of bubble. And we'll, so what we'll do here, we'll actually get this, you know, proportion 60 to 30. So it's like one, a one to two proportion. Okay. Uh, leave it fixed width because I don't think uh, you know, you want you want to have the proportions be how you would like them. Let's talk about this plugin then. Um, this color here. If you were, for example, on the Airbnb app, there are, uh, I think these are like that peach salmon color of, um, you know, what what the branding is. What I'm, so what I'm suggesting is, put put the put this color as the color of your branding is basically it. And then now this value of yes, uh, yes or no, this value is tied to this element. So uh, other parts of your app can read that when necessary. However, now we're gonna jump into working with the data of this element. And I think this is where you'll get a lot of value. So what I wanna show off is a little trick that if, uh, if you ever find, well, the reason why there's, we're using this trick in the first place though, is this better toggle A, we're just gonna call this uh, better toggle element. And notice that this element does not, on the right side here, have any way to start or edit a workflow. So basically the only actions associated with this plugin is that when it's, it's clicked, this value is going to update. Um, 
you know, within the system, but accessing that value and working with that value, let's see how we might do that. So grab under containers, grab a group, drop that in, and let's see, I might have already dropped a different group in here. I'm just gonna delete that. And so we're gonna work with this group. Just make it big enough for this one to fall into, and we'll see. All right, whatever, we're gonna do it like that. And I'm just gonna bring this actually all the way up to, yeah, two two is fine. And if this thing is 60, 30, then if we wanna add, so that'd be 64 and 34. And then we can bring this back around where it was before. Okay, so what has that allowed us to do? Well, this actual group itself, when it's clicked, what will we get? The behavior that happens when it's clicked is one, the toggle element itself changes, as well as this group A. Oh, no, okay, so we lost it there, that's what's up. Got it. Okay, so the, or this group B, rather. We're gonna call this the, the group uh, holder, it's just so things are clear. Um, so this group holder, Let's go ahead and give it a value. Uh, sorry, let's go ahead and give it a state rather here on this top right info area. Click that, click add new custom state, and then we'll just say uh, the toggles value. And we'll say that's yes or no. And I'm just trying to make this you know, as plain as day. Uh, default value, we're not gonna give it one. Maybe we'll say it's no. Actually, I think that, that makes the most sense. Um, and then this one, yeah, starts out with the value no. And if we preview this, let's just see how we're doing. Really nothing visually is gonna change except you know that's off. But what we wanna have happen then is we wanna start a workflow with this group holder and we want to do an element actions, set state. And we're gonna set the state of this group holder. It has this toggle value. And we wanna set it to this better toggle elements toggle, is toggled. And is toggled, it's gonna to be a yes or no is what's the values that's gonna end up in here. And notice here, as we mouse over this, it says evaluates to a yes or no. So that's what we wanna see, right? Okay, so um, what is this? Oh yeah, well, I'm setting this as a state. In your world, you might actually want to go do something like data, make changes to a thing, make changes, I don't know, the current user or some other type of data that you're working with. And maybe that, that uh, let's see, I have this thing to join the plan that's a yes or no. So I could say uh, this better toggle elements, but yeah, better toggle elements is toggled. This evaluates to a yes or no. So maybe this person, you know, they're joining, I don't know, some joining a plan to sign up or something like that, right? So when um, we could save this value to the database and, and then also on, you know, well, we'll save it in both ways, and, but when it whenever it changes, you know, we can manage that. So what do we got, but yeah, what do we got if we just only focus for a moment on the states, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, like what's actually happening on the page so that you can be confident that the data is going where you want it to be and that things are behaving how you want them to behave. Okay, so we have this toggle switch here. I'm going to inspect, first and foremost, uh, this group holder. It has this t the toggles value, it's no. Remember, we said as the default is no. So I'm gonna hit stop there. Then I'm gonna hit step by step here. And so when we click this, two things are happening. One, the toggle element itself changed. Two, this group holder thing was clicked. So this is kind of like the trick of this uh, video that you can you know, up your game a little bit for like, if you were confused how to use this thing or you were thinking about spending $45 on that other one, um, you know, now you know. So what's happening here is this group holder is clicked. Uh, we're gonna hit run next, and then it sets the state. So the state is now to yes. So this better toggle elements is toggled to yes. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. That's only talking about this, the, the actual element that we dropped on from this plugin. So now let's go and inspect, however, our group holder. It has this toggles value. So notice that, that state has changed to yes. So we're gonna do this one more time, where we uh, turn that off, and then we close this, Run it, okay, we see that now its value is going to no, and we're talking about the element values here. Okay, so cool, cool. So we've got that element value ran, but now that 
workflow has also run and our group holder one, notice now, is no. So there you have it. If you're looking to make a nice simple toggle button in Bubble, this is how you do it. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, please subscribe. It means a lot to me and the channel here, and I'll see you in another.